So, what do you think about Lamont Roach? Oh man, that's a good fight. The boxing world has been buzzing with anticipation, and the big question everyone had was finally answered who will Gervonta Tank Davis fight next? Fans were eager to find out after months of speculation, and the answer has taken everyone by surprise. It's not who anyone expected, but it's someone who's definitely caught the attention of the boxing community. Gervonta Davis, one of the most explosive and exciting fighters in boxing today, is set to face Lamont Roach Jr., that's right. The World Boxing Association's super featherweight champion, Lamont Roach Jr., is moving up in weight to challenge Tank Davis at lightweight. This news has sent waves through the boxing world because, let's be honest, Roach wasn't exactly on the radar for most fans when they were thinking about Davis's next opponent. But here we are, and it's happening. Let's break this down. Tank Davis just came off a dominant victory against Frank Martin in June, defending his title in impressive fashion. After that, fans were expecting a big name to step into the ring with him next. Names like Shakur Stevenson, Devin Haney, and Vasyl Lomachenko were being thrown around, fueling excitement for what could have been a blockbuster matchup. But when the news dropped that Lamont Roach Jr. would be stepping up to fight Tank, it was a shocker to many. Premier boxing champions who managed Tank Davis were working behind the scenes to find the perfect opponent, and the decision to go with Roach came out of nowhere. Fans have been buzzing, with some excited about the potential of this fight and others left scratching their heads, wondering how this matchup even came about. Either way, it's creating waves and people are paying attention. So why Lamont Roach Jr.? Roach is a solid fighter. There's no doubt about that. He's held the WBA super featherweight title and is known for his technical ability in the ring. But moving up to lightweight to face a powerhouse like Tank Davis is no small task. This is going to be Roach's biggest test to date, and he'll need to bring his a game if he's going to stand a chance against Tank. Boxing insider Rick Glazer was one of the first to break the news on social media. He revealed that Roach would be moving up to 135 pounds for this fight, but only for this one bout. That's right Roach, who's been fighting his entire career at super featherweight, is taking a huge leap up in weight to take on Tank in the lightweight division. This decision is going to be a major factor in how the fight plays out. Will Roach be able to handle Tank's power at this higher weight class? That's the big question. When the news broke, the reactions from fans were mixed. Some were excited, saying this is going to be a scrappy, action-packed fight others were more skeptical, wondering if Roach is really the right opponent for Tank at this point in his career. After all, Tank has been on an absolute tear in the lightweight division, knocking out opponent after opponent with his devastating power. Roach, on the other hand, is known more for his technical skills and in-ring IQ. Can he really hang with Tank in the lightweight division? One of the most interesting aspects of this fight is the fact that both fighters are from Maryland. That means there's a strong possibility this fight could take place in the DMV region possibly in Washington, D.C. or somewhere close by. Can you imagine the atmosphere? Two hometown fighters squaring off in front of a raucous crowd of local fans. The energy in the building is going to be electric, and that alone makes this fight something to watch. But let's get back to the matchup itself. On paper, this might not seem like the fight fans were hoping for. After all, names like Shakur Stevenson, Devin Haney, and Teofimo Lopez were all floating around as potential opponents for Tank, and those matchups would have been massive. But here's the thing, Lamont Roach is no slouch. He's coming into this fight riding a six-fight win streak, including a victory over Hector Luis Garcia, a former opponent of Tank Davis. Roach is a skilled, smart fighter, and while he might not have the knockout power of Tank, he's got the technical ability to make this an interesting fight. Still, some fans can't help but feel disappointed. One fan even posted on social media saying, so Haney just said he could fight in October, and Tank didn't send him an offer. What's going on? It's clear that some fans were hoping for a bigger name, and they're not shy about expressing their frustration. But let's be real, boxing is a complicated business. And sometimes, the fights you want to see don't happen right away. Haney and Lopez were dealing with their own situations. And Roach was ready and willing to step up. Sometimes, that's just how it goes in boxing. The criticism hasn't just come from fans, though. Even some of Tank's fellow fighters have chimed in. Devin Haney, for example, couldn't resist taking a jab at the announcement. He posted a picture on social media of himself taking a punch from Ryan Garcia, another shared opponent of Tank's, with the caption, let's keep laughing. Haney clearly thinks Tank should have chosen a bigger name for his next fight, but that's just fueling the fire for a potential showdown between Tank and Haney down the road. Fans are hoping that fight happens sooner rather than later, but for now, all eyes are on Roach. Gary Russell Jr., Another fighter from the DMV area has also been vocal about wanting a piece of Tank Davis. 
Russell has been calling out Tank for years, saying he's more than ready to take on the challenge. In a recent interview, Russell didn't hold back, saying, I would love to get back in the game and fight Tank with both fighters hailing from Maryland. A fight between Tank and Russell would be a huge local rivalry, and it's something that's been simmering for a while. But for now, Russell will have to wait his turn, as Roach steps up to the plate. It's easy to see why some fans are frustrated. They were expecting a mega fight with a big name, and instead they got Lamont Roach. But don't sleep on this fight just yet. Roach is a skilled boxer with plenty of experience, and he's going to give Tank a run for his money. The fact that he's moving up in weight makes things even more interesting. Will the extra weight slow him down, or will it give him the strength he needs to compete with Tank? Let's talk about Tank Davis for a minute. This guy is a knockout artist, plain and simple. He's known for his explosive power and ability to end fights in the blink of an eye. Whether it's a crushing body shot or a devastating uppercut, Tank has the kind of power that can change the course of a fight in an instant. He's been steamrolling through the lightweight division, and Roach is going to have his hands full trying to avoid those big shots. Roach, on the other hand, is more of a technical fighter. He doesn't rely on knockout power to win his fights instead, he uses his boxing IQ to outmaneuver his opponents and pick them apart. He's comfortable fighting on the inside, which could play a big role in this fight. If Roach can stay close to Tank and avoid the big shots, he might be able to frustrate Davis and take control of the fight. But that's easier said than done, especially against someone like Tank, who's known for his ability to land punches from all angles. While some fans may be skeptical of this matchup, there's no denying that it's going to be a fascinating clash of styles. Tank's raw power versus Roach's technical skill its the kind of fight that could go in any direction. And let's not forget the added drama of this being a hometown battle, with both fighters representing Maryland. The stakes couldn't be higher. As we get closer to the fight, more details will come out. But one thing is for sure this is going to be a fight you don't want to miss. Whether you're a fan of Tank's knockout power or were Roach's technical brilliance, there's something for everyone in this matchup. And let's be honest, boxing fans love an underdog story, and Roach is stepping into that role perfectly. So what's next? Well, if Tank wins, he continues his reign as one of the most feared fighters in the lightweight division. But if Roach can pull off the upset, it would shake up the entire division and make him an instant star. Either way, this fight has the potential to deliver some serious fireworks. As we head into fight night, all eyes will be on these two Maryland natives as they prepare to go to war in the ring. The build-up, the tension, the anticipation, it's all leading to what promises to be an unforgettable night of boxing. The only question left is who will come out on top. Tank Davis has proven time and time again that he's one of the most dangerous fighters in the sport. But Lamont Roach is hungry for his shot at glory. And he's not coming to lay down, he's coming to win. And that's what makes this fight so intriguing. No matter how you feel about this matchup, one thing is clear. This is a fight that's going to have people talking. Will it live up to the hype? Only time will tell. But one thing's for sure you won't want to miss it. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think Lamont Roach can shock the world and beat Tank Davis? Or will Tank's power be too much for Roach to handle? And don't forget to subscribe for more boxing updates, fight breakdowns, and exclusive content. Keep your gloves up and we'll see you on fight night.